What is up my Poké fam and welcome back to our box Den. Guys, today I'm going to share with you some cards I plan on submitting through CGC for grading and why I chose CGC rather than other companies such as PSA and Beckett. Now before we jump into that, I just want to say if you're new to the channel guys, welcome. My name is Mitchell and I'm a Pokemon reseller. I buy and I sell Pokemon cards using the profit from that to fund my collecting for free. So if that sounds like something if you'd like to follow along the journey of or would like to do yourself guys, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, we share a whole bunch of tips and tricks so you can do it yourself. So, like I, like that being said, I'm a Pokemon reseller. So the cards I plan on submitting are actually mostly cards that I plan on reselling. Now, I do have my own collecting goals on the side, which I have a whole bunch of PSA uh, cards ready to be submitted, but with the wait times increasing, and not only that, but the amount of cards I'm submitting increasing, the price is getting out of control, which I just can't justify spending that money and waiting that long. I've heard people submitting in October from Australia and not expecting to receive them back till August 2021. So that is out of the question at the moment, too expensive, and we'll have the wait is just too long. So PSA then is out of the question, leaving Beckett and CGC. So CGC guys, I've actually, since they came out on the scene, I've been really liking what they're doing. I've fallen in love with the CGC case. It's grown on me over time and now I really, really like it. And also I just like what they're doing with the uh, error cards and all sorts of stuff. So you know what? I thought I'd put a whole heap of faith into CGC, send off some cards and then resell them. And if this works guys, I'll be doing this more and more frequently. So the cards I have submitted are right here. Now I sort of hedge my bets a bit because obviously PSA, uh, is the best protection for the value of your Pokemon investment. CGC and Beckett, sometimes the cards of equal grade are worth less than that of PSA because PSA is just the uh, go-to company, guys. There's no there's no ways about that. But the same card and say CGC, the same card, the same equivalent, always worth more in PSA 10. So that being said, these cards I plan to resell and they are all modern Japanese cards. All these cards are pretty low value anyway, so it shouldn't affect me too much. If we're talking cards that are of a thousand dollar difference, then you know what? I would have waited for the PSA uh, time. But anyways, let's jump into the cards. That's what you're all here for. Two minutes of yabbering on. So first up, we have two beautiful Celebi and Phoenix Sword GXs, Japanese hyper res. Beautiful cards. We're seeing them off. Uh, hopefully get one back if one if they're both the same go maybe I'll keep one I don't know next up we have Charizard Braxian GX four hyper res of that baby very very nice card you'll see uh, this is sort of a running theme in this submission is that there's a lot of Charizards guys really really happy with that hopefully I can get a few of them back hopefully I can keep one for myself sell the rest next up another very popular species both Mew and Mewtwo here beautiful 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 cards are uh, I think I've seen this card go for $100 in a PSA 10. Uh, tag all stars, absolutely out of control at the moment. So yeah, um, I mean, if even I get half of that for these, that'd be unreal. So who knows, we'll see, gonna be fun. Anyways, next up we have four Charizard VMAXs from uh, the Charizard theme deck in Japan. This obviously came out in Darkness of Blaze in English, but in, in Japan it was a theme deck uh, card. So you know what? There's a whole bunch available. You can pick them up for really cheap in Japan and they are just a beautiful, beautiful card. So four of them getting sent off. They look in very, very nice condition. Next up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve Charizard Vs, guys. Uh, all getting sent off. Hopefully that can be a huge money maker for me. You know what? I actually bought a hundred of these in Japan. I actually bought a hundred. I was planning on submitting them all but the seller canceled the order. So it's pretty devastating because that could have been a very, very good money maker for me, even raw, but graded, who knows, guys. So yeah, we'll see what happens when they come back. Next up, we have the Hidden Fates promos. I uh, really love these cards. Bought them off Young Master Charles, who we'll hear about in the future, in the further in the future of this video. But, but yeah, beautiful cards there. Uh, really, really happy with them. Next up, we have a Blastoise. So definitely uh, going for the... Kanto starters, guys. Pretty heavy on the Kanto starters. Love the Kanto starters. So, graded copies, you know. They are money makers. Next up, we have a Shining Rayquaza. Now, this was actually a gift from my good friend, Pokey Mitch, guys. Go check him out on YouTube. Really awesome dude. Uh, he gave me this card, man. Out of the kindness of, he, of his heart, he gave me this card. So, Pokey Mitch, thank you very much. This one probably will not be for resale. This will be for my own personal collection. Next up, we have the Hooper promo here. Very nice card. I think this is Japanese exclusive, should be. So, 
We have Zacian, uh, amazing rare form, uh, the legendary heartbeat box we opened on the channel, guys. So this is actually a card that I pulled myself, so very, very stoked with that. Not many of these cards I pulled from myself, they were mostly uh, cards I bought. So next up, we have some secret uh, rare character arts. I really love these cards, Cosmic Eclipse and all that, that had these really, really great addition to the hobby, guys. I absolutely love these. Um, Gonna be sad to see these go, but I want to uh, sell them now, and then get some money, and then go and buy. I go get another graded set for myself. So I'll let these go now. Easy enough to come by that I can replace them and go again. So next up, one of my favorite cards. We have two Blastoise and Piplups. Love this card. Look, we have actually sending off all three variants here. So for some reason, guys, I love this card. Ever since it came out, I absolutely love it. So cannot wait to see these return. These may, may stay with me. I have sort of a goal to get all of these cards Oh, PSA 10, but I will settle for a CGC. What I'd love to do, guys, is have my vintage cards, my vintage goals, all be PSA and then start a CGC collection for myself for modern cards. I think that's a really what, good way to go about it. Next up, uh, we can see the Kanto starters going ham on the Kanto stars. We've got Venusaur and Snivy GX there. We have Venusaur and Celebi GX there. Pikachu V from Astonishing Bolt Tackle. We have the birds from, uh, this is Tag All Stars variant, guys. So this isn't um, the set card. This is from Tag All Stars. Zorak and Greninja. So uh, you can see Tag All Stars, guys. Go on hand on Tag All Stars, and I'm trying to limit myself to very popular Pokemon. We have Rayquaza. So what I'm hoping for, guys, is easy sales once they return. You know, Rayquaza, very popular. Uh, Greninja, very popular. Boltrade's Art Opinion, Zapdos, very popular. You see the theme going on there. So let's get these back in order so I don't have to redo that. Next up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more holographic Charizard. So, yeah, I'm sorry about the glare, guys, on the, all the um, card savers, but, you know, got to do what you got to do. So, ten of these bad boys. Now, I see these go... Uh, at the peak of the market, $300 in a PSA 10 for what is a regular rare, really, guys. All Japanese hollows are rares are hollows, I believe. So most sets anyway. So these are just like what you would get a regular rare from a pack. And they go for over $300 in a PSA 10. So if I can get even a quarter of that for these, I would be laughing, guys. Absolutely laughing. Next up, we have, sticking with the theme of Charizards, we got seven. Of the uh, is it Leon's Charizard, but yeah, Charizard from Astonishing Bolt Tackle or Vivid Voltage, whatever you want to call it, whatever is easy for you to remember. So, yeah, very happy with that. You know, Charizard, guys, one of the most liquid cards in the hobby. So, sticking with that, we got two more babies, two more hollow Char Charizards from Dragon Majesty, Dragon Storm. Next up, we have Charizard and Rishi Ram, full art, really love that card. Probably will keep that, well, who knows. And then the Charizard EX promo there as well. Really nice card there. I love this sort of dragon here. Can't go wrong, guys. Can't go wrong. Probably will keep that. We'll see how we go. Now, the rest of the cards that I will show you is my good friend, Young Master Charles, guys. We say his name in every episode of our box stand. Uh, he submitted some cards through me as well. You know, we're really close friends. So we just went to his house, picked him up. And I said, bro, I'm sending a whole bunch of uh, modern Japanese. So if you don't want to send some cards of that, then it's easy for me to handle you know, if we're trying to send the same cards, I'm going to have to take photos of every card and find out whose is whose. But we just sort of coordinated. Didn't send any of the same. So you got Vaporeon on there. Pack himself. Really cool. Just a non hollow rare, but still a very cool vintage card. And you know what? He packed it himself. So can't go wrong with that. We got Sabrina from the theme deck. Gym Challenge. We have Sabrina's Gaze. Banned card. Beautiful card. And he plans on reselling some of these too, guys. So... Sort of uh, jumping in with me on the same thing there. Pikachu promo there, beautiful card. We got Roller Skater Girl there, nice. We got Wally there, beautiful card. I love these old XY era full art trainers. Now, guys, I think full art trainers, guys, is something you really need to get into. Full art trainers, very, very popular, collectible. The full art Venusaur and Celebi, if, I, if he gets his return and it matches my other Venusaurs and Celebis, say if they're all 9.5 grades or whatever, might have to make him an offer so I can sell them together. We have the Venusaur Snivy Hyper Rare there. So both of us are sending similar cards, but we know I don't have the fly. I didn't have the Hyper Rare, so easy to uh, 
determined there. Next up, the Pikachu. I love that card, man. It's such a good card. Very, very underrated. We got Latios and Latias. Same again, but the Hyper Rare variant. Then a couple of Pikachu promos. Love them there. And then the final card is probably my favorite, and that is <laughs> Magikarp and Wailord GX. Really nice full art there, guys. Love that card. And that is it, guys. Are roughly around 80 odd cards there. Um, but yeah, so excited to be able to share the returns when they come in on the channel, guys. But I've kept you here long enough. Please join in on Sunday for the box break, guys. Uh, it'll be linked up on my channel a couple days before so if you want to join in the box right guys would love to have you other than that guys i hope you have a lovely weekend and i will see you next time bye bye